Here first, we are going to talk about uh, about the recently created JavaScript Foundation, um, as well mentioned that it somehow was uh, 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 sponsored or promoted by the Linux Foundation. Then we have uh, an article about uh, the JavaScript internalization API that was defined some time ago, but I think not all browsers implemented it, so now WebKit is also implementing it. Then we have an article just telling that there has been an effort to optimize the memory consumption of WebKit, I mean uh, V8 uh, engine, uh, this is probably to address complaints about excessive memory usage uh, by Chrome and such. Then we have an article about uh, the, a new package manager called Yarn by Facebook, which kind of competes with NPM. They probably have their reasons. Then we have an uh, mention here about Tesseract. Uh, .js, which is the OCR uh, engine, uh, which again was an M script import <laughs> to JavaScript, and it works well. Then we have uh, an article just uh, talking about the implementation of the sync and the wait in Node.js.7. Then we have an article uh, about um, a library called iPerform.js that performs, uh, implements the HTML5 constraint API. Then we have a few articles talking about Viewer uh, 2.0. And then we have an uh, 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 mentioned to a library that is able to truncate text within text elements that are limited in size. And finally, we have a mention to a li uh, jQuery plugin that uh, can animate uh, page titles and uh, icons, I think. 